Hi guys, it is December 20th and it is currently 7.24. I am extremely tired and I feel like I can barely keep my eyes open right now. I also am cold so I decided to snuggle up in a blanket and I am currently sipping on some hot cocoa. Today's video is just going to be me talking about my favorite Christmas traditions. I have had some as a kid with my family and I have made some new ones with my little family. Christmas tradition number one I really enjoy is going to be being around family. I feel like everyone tries at least to carve out time to be with their family and if anyone's going to do it it's going to be on Christmas or Thanksgiving but for sure Christmas usually people go on holiday break and that is what I am most grateful for on the Christmas holiday. I do have time off of work. I know I'll be seeing a lot of my family and I'm very grateful for that. After all, that is what the holidays are about, spending time with your family. Another Christmas tradition my family has is that we open a Christmas present on Christmas Eve, just one. Um, my son, my husband, and I both open up a Christmas present. And when I was younger, we used to have this tradition with my family and my parents and um we could pretty much open like one gift any gift that we that we chose but i switched it around when i had my own family i guess you can say that sounds kind of weird but i switched it around i can't remember if i got this tradition from someone on tv or someone told me that this is what they do with their family but pretty much to create some time to cherish with one another the christmas eve present that we all have to open is a set of matching pajamas i get all three of us matching pajamas and usually i'll put a hot cocoa packet in there and maybe some snacks some popcorn and i used to put a dvd in the gift for my son and we would just have a cozy night of of watching a movie eating snacks, eating popcorn, and matching pajama set. And now we don't do the DVD part of it, and that's just because there's Netflix. Like, I feel like I have so many DVDs that I don't touch because that era is just dead and gone. We use Netflix, we, we use Hulu, we use YouTube. Um, yeah, there's just no need for a DVD, so we just watch something off Netflix now and we enjoy each other's company. We also usually make Santa's Christmas cookies on Christmas Eve as well, so that is something that we will do this year again. We'll make Santa's Christmas cookies on Christmas Eve, and I think that that's really fun because you get the whole family involved and you, everyone usually will make the cookie that they really like to eat. I rarely make cookies throughout the year. Like, I feel like my traditional desserts that I make at home are going to be like brownies and cake but cookies aren't on the top of our list to make so nine times out of ten the only time that we make cookies is if I'm babysitting my nieces because they love cookies or if um it's Christmas time because obviously the tradition is for Santa to get cookies and milk and I think my favorite cookie is okay I have two favorite cookies the one that's like a, I think it's called a snowball, and it's just a round cookie. I think it has some sort of nut in it, and it's just filled with powdered sugar, like, all over it. And then my second favorite Christmas cookie is the peanut butter cookie that's rolled in sugar, and then you put, you put a large uh, kiss, chocolate Hershey's kiss. I guess it's not that large, but it's a chocolate Hershey's kiss in the middle, and those are so good to me, but we never make them any other time of the year and that's pretty much why because it's a Christmas tradition and I really do like just kind of keeping it to one time a year because I value that more and it's just fun I don't really need to be eating cookies year round plus my favorite kind of cookie is freshly cooked out the oven hot gooey and I mean once you're done making those kind of cookies the next day they just don't taste the same so I say, let's not make cookies. Let's make brownies. 
to go along with making cookies on Christmas Eve. I also just really enjoy the food aspect of the holidays. It's kind of food that you may not make year-round. You have ham, you have turkey, although I don't really like turkey unless it's deep fried. You have like homemade macaroni and cheese from scratch, candy yams or regular yams if you prefer, and rolls. I swear those those plain white rolls. Um, I don't even know what brand they are, but those plain white rolls that you have to like bake in the oven for 10 minutes, I love those things. And you can, I'm pretty sure you can only get those in the grocery store around the holidays. So again, like the food is fun. It's a lot of fun and it brings everybody together and I get to have like my grandma's cooking, my aunt's cooking and just everything is so divine. The desserts are amazing. One traditional aspect of food with my family is that I usually cook a large dinner the day before Christmas. So on Christmas Eve, I'll cook a large dinner for just the three of us. And then on Christmas Day, I will go to my grandma's house and we'll have a bunch of food there too. But I just like the idea of me cooking for my family on Christmas Eve because I feel like my generation and maybe like the younger people have had a really hard time of holding on to, to tradi traditional recipes and I don't really know how to make <clears throat> anything that my grandma or my aunt makes and I feel like the only way I'm ever going to learn because the recipes are never accurate and never taste the same. It's pretty much just me cooking every single year on Christmas Eve to try to up my game. So that's pretty much why I cook on Christmas Eve. This year I'm not going to cook because it's been a really hectic year and really hectic time period and I really don't want to have to deal with buying all the food and just it's a lot and I don't want to have to deal with it this year so I'm gonna skip it and we'll still do the one gift of us opening our pajamas and watching a movie together and eating popcorn but I'm I think that we'll probably just like order a pizza or something and the next day we'll go to my grandma's house and that will be a blast some traditions that I've heard about other people doing that I really like are going to be the people that get to celebrate Christmas at a bunch of different houses. I just think that that's so cool because you get to experience other households versions of Christmas which I mean for me I only go to my grandma's house so I only know what we celebrate on Christmas and how we do things so I mean there's always creating your own traditions which is nice but being able to see other people other cultures kind of just cohabitate together and love each other during the holidays is a really cool thing and I wish I was able to see that more another thing is the people that I've heard of people going to one household for breakfast they have christmas breakfast together and then they'll go to another house for christmas dinner and i just thought that that was so cute like you don't have to be stuck in the regular bland idea of what a christmas tradition is you can make your own and you can be creative if you guys have any cool christmas traditions please let me know down in the comments i would love to hear about them and everyone have a great night Great holiday. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.